forward. And yeah. Ketia didn't do anything today in the game. So I don't understand why he got to play the 90 while Jesus had chances and was in better positions. Yeah. So I think he, he messed up on the subs. Um, but we also don't have that many options, to be honest. Transit TV, welcome to Reggie Football Show. We're here at the public house, Heights. I call it the Emirates in Houston. We just finished watching Tottenham come to the Emirates and go home with a draw, 2-2 two -two draw. Arsenal took a lead, the lead twice, and twice they gave it up. I'm here with my man, Eddie. Good to see you, bro. Hello, Messi. Good to see you, bro. I know the emotions are a little bit low now. What, what do you think about the game? Uh, I thought it was pretty decent, but the subs he made and the players that came in for like Rice and Vieira, like Havertz, I don't know what he brings to us. He's just too slow for me. Um, and I think we didn't play like we were at home at all. We let Tottenham dominate and just counter us. I think Arteta should have made better subs like Nketiah. He didn't play the whole game. So, yeah, that's my opinion on it. What about you? I hate losing to, uh, or even drawing to Tottenham. Um, that was a topsy-turvy game, but I feel like we should have won that one, you know? I feel like there's no reason why Nketiah should have played that whole game. And we just gave him two cheap goals for nothing, out of nothing. You know, you don't score a goal like that and just right away turn over and just... So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. Really, really disappointed. Yeah, oh well, yeah, I'm with you guys on this one. I really feel distraught because, like you said, in a big game like this, you don't you don't give out cheap goals. And Dojinho, with his experience, should have known what to do with that ball. Get it. If you don't know who, if you don't have an option, just get it, get, get it and then we'll reset to. You know, but, uh, yeah, you guys said this. I hear... Uh, it's always going to be a weak midfield when you have the Clarence and Dojinho in the midfield. But I still feel that Arsenal created enough to win this, especially in the first half. What do you make about the chances that we lost? Um, I think Jesus was just being Jesus. Like, I think we need a good number nine that's clinical. That's what we've been missing this whole time. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus, he gets in good positions, but I don't think he's a, a striker striker, you know, like someone that's going to score Finish. goals. Um, so we need someone like that to come on when we have like injuries like Martinelli. We missed him a lot today. Um, and I think we need um, one more wide player for Saka. So if we go in the market in January and get that, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, sometimes, uh, in the past, Ateta has been criticized about you know, the way he makes his changes most times a little bit too late. Today, I, I believe uh, Saka he had a good game, but at some point, the change he made for Saka was a little bit too late. I mean, at some point, it looked like he had run his race for the day. And Ateta bringing in uh, Emi Smith Rowe five minutes into, into the uh, injury time. I don't think that was an effective substitution. What do you think about that? Um, I think with Saka, because we don't have a better option, he's reluctant to take him off because he's our best player. Um, I think he should have taken off in and and left Jesus, Jesus. on. Because he would give us something like more of a threat going forward. And Ketia didn't do anything today in the game. So I don't understand why he got to play the 90 while Jesus had chances and was in better positions. So I think he, he messed up on the subs. Um, but we also don't have that many options, to be honest. Yeah, I feel Jesus coming back from injury, probably they don't want to put too much load on him, you know, they want to ease him in, into it. This game was a very high intensity game and playing him 90 minutes might put a lot of pressure on the surgery that he just had. So I kind of understand Jesus coming off, but my point, my problem is leaving, other guy looked very tired and I understand it as well because in the first half, just like you said about Eddie not doing much in the game, other guy was the one pressing for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was pressing ahead of Eddie most of the time. So obviously he got tired and you know and tired out of the game. So I think like you said, uh, Eddie Ketia today for me didn't didn't do do much at all. So but let, let, I know it's difficult for an Arsenal fan to give uh, Tottenham credit. What do you think about Tottenham today? I think they played really well. They were very um they were very organized. I hate to say it. But um, they played very well. They picked us apart when it mattered the most. They didn't lose. Um, they didn't lose chances, and that's, I think that's our biggest problem. We we create all these chances, and we keep missing them. These other teams come in, and they get one, two chances, and they punish us. Because basically, these guys didn't do too much for us to give them those two goals. 
you know. And um, but I will give them credit; they took their chances very well. They maintained their um, their shape and everything. And I just wish, I just wish that um, the substitutions were a little different, you know, because I don't, I don't this this Tottenham team. I don't think uh, could have withstood what we could have done had Arteta made the right um, changes. I have no idea what happened to Declan Rice, but the moment he came off, that was it. That was it. We lost the midfield. There was no control. There's no pate. So it's just, I don't know. I, I give him a little credit, but at the same time, I'm still, I'm still kind of salty about it. I know, I know. I, mean, I understand that. I understand that. Thank you, guys. And uh, what do you think about this season? You know, going from now, what do you expect from Arsenal? Do you think we're going to lose momentum after this game, or you think we should kick on from here? Uh, I personally don't think we're going to do as good as last year because it's showing that we didn't improve from the team we had. We kind of like brought Declan Rice in, but we lost Shaka, which to me played way better than Harvard's. And that's saying a lot, saying that about Shaka because he had one good season for us. Um, I think we need to strengthen our right side with Saka. And if we get a striker like Ivan Tony in, in the January transfer window. If we address those issues, I think we'll do good. But right now, I think this team didn't get stronger than last year's team. Okay, guys, thank you for coming on the show. Good to see you, and uh, you. hopefully we'll see you again here over the week, and uh, we'll kick on from here. Thank Nothing you, guys. Thank I you. Yeah, good to see you.